Hi, Instafam. Welcome to a gab about some stuff. The stuff we're gabbing about today is a pair of shoes. And uh, the shoes that I want to share about today is my brand new Gucci fur loafers. And I finally, finally pulled the trigger and purchased these after wanting them for years. Um, a lot of people talk about how at first they didn't like these shoes and then they grew on them. Not me. I love them right away. I love loafers. I love mules. I love slippers. I love cozy. So these shoes were basically made for me, except I don't live in the right place for them. So for many years, well, not many years, but for as long as I've loved them, I always felt like Boston is not the best place for these because it rains, it snows, the ground is filthy or covered in ice most of the time and it didn't make sense. So even though I've loved these and every once in a while I'll post um, some pictures of stuff that I love but will not buy, this is always on the list. And finally I was just like, why not? Just buy it. Here's why not, because they're expensive as hell. So. I, once I decided I was going to buy them, I got very serious about looking for them on the resale sites. I knew I didn't want to buy them pre-loved. Um, not that I, I guess I don't have a rule about against buying pre-loved shoes. Um, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to buy that. Um, and I didn't want to buy these with the fur that had already been in somebody else's sweaty feet. I don't know. Um, on this, I didn't want to do that is the point. If you buy pre-loved shoes, that's awesome. Um, so I kept my eye out. I wanted to find them in new condition um, and I wanted to save some money. So I went into the Gucci boutique maybe two weeks ago and I tried them on and I was so glad I did because I typically take a 38, but when I tried them on in the store, the 38 was too small to wear with thin socks which I knew I would need room to do so the sales associate advised and I agreed to try the 38 and a half and that's the size that fit perfect even without a sock it's not too too big but with a sock it fits perfect and I think there will be plenty of days in these Boston falls winters and springs where I'll want a light sock so once I knew what size I was I was just on the websites looking for them and I did post a couple of times about different ones that I'd seen um, so here's a little detour about getting these I love these I like them in the basic black they're just my style I wear a lot of black and white um, and I knew they would work for me but people talk so much about how basic and played out these shoes are I convinced myself that I needed to get a fancier version that I needed to get the ones with the tiger patch or something that distinguished them from just the regular old whatever and I was looking for them I found them on sites like list and Louis of Aroma and Essence. I ordered two, two different pairs from two different sites. Both orders canceled because they sold out, they didn't have them. Um, and those were more expensive than these, though they were a little less expensive because um, of the sites that I was finding them on. But my order was getting canceled, I was getting frustrated, and I thought, well, I'm really going a lot out of my way here to get some shoes because I didn't want anybody to think I was just following the hype. So I was gonna go out of my way to try to find some shoes that were different instead of just getting the ones that I liked, you know? So it was like, in order to not appear to be following the trend, I was gonna do the most. And that's dumb, is what I realized. And all I wanted was these. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to spend way more than I wanted to spend just to prove other people wrong and not get the ones that I truly loved. So I ended up getting these. Where did I get them? I'm not gonna tell you because here's what I had to do. These were listed pretty close to retail. Um, the person who bought them said, you know, listed them um, for resale and that it hadn't worked out for her in new condition, like unworn. Um, it's hard to tell because I've already had the soles done because uh, they're pretty slippery and I plan to wear them in work and we have carpet in my office. So I got them sold. Um, but they were only a little bit less than retail, except 
the site that I had them do a promo for first time users. Yeah, so I went ahead and created a new account and I got these for like $200 off. So that's exactly kind of what I was looking to pay and I feel okay with that. So uh, in case they're watching, nobody's watching, but in case they're watching, I don't wanna get caught or do anything. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's done that, right? Please tell me that I'm not the only one who's done that. But um, that's how I was able to save about uh, $350 off of these between the discount I got for using the site and the sales tax that I saved. They still had tax on that site, but um, they only taxed me on um, you know, the reduced price. So I saved a bunch of money, still way more expensive than these need to be, but um, I was okay with it because also that site authenticates things. So I felt fine paying for, um, for that. Also, I did send it to be authenticated by a third party authenticator and they came back uh, having checked out. So that's how I ended up with them. And you know, just so you know, if I'd bought them and they hadn't turned out authentic, obviously I wouldn't have had the soles done and I wouldn't be sharing that with you today. So, you know, when I get something that's a good deal and it feels like it's too good to be true, I just double check. And it wasn't too good to be true. I mean, um, these were not unreasonable. If I'd waited long enough, I probably would have got them for about the same price through like, you know, a special on um, Ebates or whatever. So that's that. So these are them. I've worn them only a couple of times so far um, because I had to wait for the authentication to come back and then I had to take them to the cobbler and wait for them to come back. So I really only worn them um, one day, but I'm super excited to have them in my collection. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know, but I am super excited and happy to have these. So that's my gab. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like these? Do you own them? What's your experience? What should I look forward to as they age? I do have a good number of Gucci shoes, so I'm not new to the Gucci loafer, Gucci mule game, but I am new to the fur game. So share with me your thoughts about these, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, okay, bye.